Alright, Bob. Ball went a little bit short off to the left. It's, it's not necessarily a block, and that's a great way to get on that right side, even though he's throwing from the left side for Bob Vonch. Ooh, and those bags didn't budge much. Yeah, it's like they're pinched there on the front side of the hole. Oh, and he did get two to fall. Right now still showing what looks to be a wash in the round. But obviously Baldwin in a much better position here. I think if you're if you're yeah, Vaughn, you gotta be here Baldwin because if you go anywhere else and if you end up like here, then James Baldwin has an opportunity to push in for six. Oh, and he now he's still got an angle though. He's thinking about it, asking Canva for some advice. What he may do is step out and come with a harder angle here on the slick side, as hard as uh, close to as hard as he can throw it as possible, and hopefully that all three of them would go. The only thing you're worried about is coming at this angle. You just don't want all of them to bunch up right here. Right. Now the airmail is yeah, obviously the, you pusher. have the lower oh, upside if you just shoot the airmail right here because the maximum points you're going to score is just four. But it might be a cleaner at attempt to get more than one bag in the hole. I'm not sure what he wants to do, but he's got a couple options. You know, if he misses right too, he's got Vonch's bag right there. Right, can't do that. Let's see what side of the bag he uses. He's going sticky side. Again, the former number one player in the world trying to get points here for his team and hits a big airmail. What a shot. I think that was a beautifully smart move and great coaching by Campbell because going with the airmail guaranteed a bag would fall. You just didn't want him to all bunch up for, for nothing. Round number six. Boy, Baldwin now is fired up, and why not? Look at the shot again. Perfect. 